In this video, we explore the Cheshire to Southerton section of the Farmington Canal Greenway. Our ride starts in the Railroad Avenue parking lot in Cheshire, Connecticut. From here, we'll ride north eight miles to Lazy Lane in Southerton, Connecticut, which is the current terminus of this section of the trail. <laughs> This trail stop at Main Street Cheshire provides parking, a picnic table, benches, flush toilets, drinking water, and bike tools. Today we're going to take a ride on the Farmington Canal Heritage Trail. The Farmington Canal was in operation from 1828 to 1848. It was built primarily on the backs of Irish immigrants. The bike path here is called the Farmington Canal Heritage Trail Greenway. The trail has many names depending upon what section you are on. The whole path stretches 80 miles from New Haven, Connecticut to Northampton, Massachusetts. There are only a few short sections missing. behind us were part of the Cheshire Street Railway from 1905 to 1934. This algae covered water is a section of the old canal. Behind me is the eastern abutment of the Meriden Waterbury and Connecticut River Railroad, uh, which was here from 1888 to 1924. Arrived this morning, I started at the parking lot in downtown Cheshire off of Main Street. It was kind of small and it was full by 820. There was an overflow spot across the street from there. Jarvis Street is a much bigger parking lot than the one down on Main Street in Cheshire, as you can see. There's an awful lot of parking here. Haven and Northampton Canal Greenway Alliance represents seven nonprofit groups that make up the 81 mile multi use greenway in Massachusetts and Connecticut. Its goal is to strengthen the tourism and recreational opportunities along the Greenway Corridor. I'll leave a link to their website in the description if you want to learn more. beautiful morning for bike ride. Temperatures were a little over 60 degrees when I got started here and the trail is just phenomenal. It's been a, a minute, shall we say, since the last time I rode on this trail wasn't even paved. It was pretty bumpy because uh, they still had some ties in the line. But now it's really a very smooth ride. Strongly recommend checking it out. The trail is awesome. The placards are great. The fencing and the signage tells you exactly what's going on. Uh, can't wait for them to finish the segment north of here, Southbury to Farmington, so we can actually connect this thing and run all the way to Westfield, Massachusetts, uh, on the one continuous trail. has been mostly in the shade until now. We just entered the Milldale section of Southington about to pass the old depot here. We're gonna take a look at it as we go by, but we'll probably stop in on our way back.
Clark Brothers Bolt Company was founded in 1854 by brothers William, Henry, and Charles Clark. Today is home to Kinsman Brewing Company, which has completely renovated and restored it. Here you can enjoy a wide variety of beers, stouts, ales, and IPAs, all handcrafted in their state-of-the-art brewery. about eight and a half miles and we reached the northern end of this paved section. Here's Lazy Lane behind us. Beyond here is the uh, Plainville section which is uh, yet to be developed as you can see. We're actually working on it so I'm looking forward to coming back here and checking out the rest of this line. Well if you have a few minutes I strongly suggest stopping at the Pollinator Garden here almost at the end of the trail in Southington. It's a destination within itself. Beautiful flowers, great signs, a little bit of shade and a water fountain. On the way back I stopped to explore the Pollinator and Art Garden. The Southington section of the rail trail is home to a great deal of art. Our last stop on the way back was to visit the Milldale Depot. The the depot was open and contained several interesting railroad exhibits. The depot even played a cameo role in the 1958 movie It Happened to Jane starring Doris Day and Jack Lemmon. If you're interested in more information on the depot, check out the Tyler City Station website. I'll leave a link in the description below. wrap it up for us today on the Farmington Canal Heritage Trail. We did almost 18 miles. And the only issue I found was the occasional roots working their way through the paved surface, but not too bad. It was really smooth and a lot of people out here uh, enjoying this great asset that we have here in Connecticut. Until next time, I'll see you out here on the trail.